As the massive oil platform continued to burn late this afternoon, leaning closer to the water with every hour, Coast Guard rescuers scoured the Gulf of Mexico for 11 missing workers, hoping to find them floating in one of the rig's life rafts. There are 11 people still missing and we have a search and rescue case ongoing. Within minutes of the explosion, the Coast Guard sent helicopters to pull injured workers from the platform as the fire raged through the night and into the morning. Okay, we're taking a load. Most of the rig's 126 workers made it off alive. 17 were hurt, three of them critically. Well, there were some burns. Uh, there were uh, leg breaks. We had a couple of leg breaks. Um, we had some smoke inhalation on one or two people. The Deepwater Horizon is one of the largest of the 90 drilling rigs now operating in the Gulf of Mexico. At 396 feet long and 256 feet wide, it's 36 feet longer and nearly 100 feet wider than a football field. It was basically floating in the Gulf on large pontoons with anchors dropped nearly 5,000 feet down to the seafloor to hold it in place. Working in the oil industry is more dangerous than working in coal mines. On rigs in the Gulf of Mexico alone, there have been 59 fatalities, more than 1,300 injuries, and 853 fires since 2001. Yet just last year, the Deepwater Horizon crew won a safety award from the federal government. The crew on board the Deepwater Horizon was drilling when the accident happened. The fire is now being fueled by oil and gas. The fire is still burning. There's a lot of water being poured on the rig from various vessels, six vessels at the moment. Um, but no, there's nobody can go on board the rig. Most of that oil and gas is burning rather than spilling onto the surface of the water. But just in case, British Petroleum has sent seven oil spillage cleanup vessels in order to deal with any potential pollution. Katie? And Kelly, is there a possibility some of these workers may have survived? It's possible, but they would have had to survive about a 75 to 100 foot drop from that platform onto the surface of the water. The water temperature right now is 67 degrees in that area, and survivability in those temperatures ranges anywhere from 2 to 40 hours. That's why rescuers are hoping they made it into a life raft. All right, Kelly Kobayaya in Miami tonight. Thank you, Kelly.